margarita we call it Frankenstein's favorite and our second one is called Tears de los Muertos which is a bubbly tequila elderflower margarita okay I'm like so, anyway I'll drink it yeah it's gonna be delicious okay great all right so let's get started shall we let's do it all right so this first drink we're gonna be making is called Frankenstein's favorite we're gonna start off with some cucumber and some jalapeno. I'm just gonna muddle that. <laughs> you wanna muddle it till you can smell the aromas of the jalapeno and the cucumber, and you know you're done. Well, smell it. We're gonna add a little bit of lime juice and tequila. This is not coming out like it's supposed to, but we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna do it again. Oh my god, that smells that into the glass. And 
And last but not least, we're gonna garnish these with our cute little Frankenstein cucumbers. Salud! Okay guys, so we're gonna be making a few different Halloween little party snacks and finger foods for your upcoming Halloween party. So first up on the list is our jalapeno mummies. Um, I am very hoarse, by the way. You probably noticed I am sick, I'm under the weather. So excuse my voice, we're gonna get through this. So once we get our jalapenos nice and sliced, you are going to cut out and remove all the seeds from the middle. And also, being that we have our bartender with us today, our guest, special guest, Shanae, we are going to utilize her. We're gonna let her help, we're gonna let her help us in the kitchen today and prep some of these foods with us. So let's see how she does. Now for this recipe, we only need a few simple ingredients. Those being, of course, jalapenos, cream cheese, shredded cheese. I, of course, am using uh, vegan alternatives. We're also going to need garlic powder, and you're going to need some croissants. Now, you want the croissants in a can. You don't want croissants that are already baked, because you're going to be baking them in the process of the jalapeno mummy. So this is what you want, ideally, for sauce in the can. And then you are going to slice them into thin little strips. So just unroll them and slice them into strips because you're going to wrap them around the jalapeno as if it was an actual mummy. And just leave a space at the top. Now once you get all your jalapenos nice and wrapped, you're gonna melt some butter and just kind of drizzle a little bit of butter on top of the croissant dough. You're gonna bake them in the oven for about 30 minutes until golden brown at 350. And then once you take them out the oven, be sure to add your little googly eyes while the cheese is still hot so they can kind of stay in place. Okay, and next we're gonna make a dipping sauce for the jalapeno peppers. I'm really excited to make this sauce. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted to do a Taco Tuesday in this episode, just to make a tequila aioli sauce. So to get started, you're gonna need sour cream, you're going to need cilantro, limes, of course we're gonna be using tequila, you're gonna be using minced garlic, we're also gonna use salt, pepper, and what am I forgetting? Milk. And so once you mix everything up into a bowl, you wanna set it in the fridge for about an hour, let it chill, let it thicken up a little bit, and then it is ready for dipping and for serving.
number two. Dos. Dos. Numero dos. How do you say drinks in Spanish? Bebidas. Dos bebidas. See? No, that oh. means two drinks. Yeah, this is our second drink. You should say... El bebido, el bebido numero dos. El bebido? Bebido, bebido. bebido. I forgot. It's been a while. El bebido numero, numero dos. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See. All right. See. Okay. So, show me what we're doing here. This is called the Tears de los Muertos. Ay, what does that mean? Tears. See how Tears. Tears was it's it's Spanglish. Tears is tears, and de los Muertos is dead. Oh my god, I did not know tears meant tears. Tears means tears oh. in English. Oh, tears, tears means tears. Tears means tears in English. Okay. Uh, Wait, how do you say that other word? Muertos. Tears de muertos? De los muertos. Tears de los muertos? Muertos. 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 Somebody correct me. I know y'all go. Y'all got it. Anywho. Okay, let's get started. First step. Tequila. Tequila, yeah. And then a few of these, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's a lot of tequila. It's a big drink. Yeah, that's, that's but we're we're big girls, so it's okay. Drink, you know, a little Saint Germain, Saint Germain. elderflower liqueur. In case you didn't know, it's a flower liqueur. You know? <laughs> 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 oui, oui. Wait, that's French. Yeah, well, we yeah, Mexico in it. Uh, we're gonna do a little simple syrup. Poison. Poison stuff. Poisonous. Poison. Yes, poisonous. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're back to the lime juice. All right. All right. And we are gonna shake this like a whole board picture. I can't know what I mean. Smack, like put it in your hand and smack it, because that brings out the aromatics of yeah. the of the rosemary. That's right. Go ahead and put it in the glass. All right. Okay. Kind of short. Oh, I don't like that one. Let's get a taller one. Wait, did you guys put ice in there? No. Oh. Okay. I gotta smack the taller one too. Smack a tall one. Right. We want to see it. I hear smacking folks. We want to sniff it every time we take a take a sip. What we want. There you go. I just want the deluxe. Okay. Now, smack, smack. now we're gonna put that in there. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Tall, yeah. Let's do the second one. Oh, one more. Yeah. Smack it for both drinks. Smack it. Smack it really. Good. That's right. Not too good though. Just a little bit. Just. just. All right. And, oh, right here. Okay. That was a little short. All right, it's okay, but we can sniff it every time we I take a smell sip. It. Every time we take a drink. Ooh, and we're gonna top this off with champagne. Ooh, got some champagne. Yes. Not too fast now. Not too fast. Oh, and it's bubbling and things. Yeah. Oh. Okay, and I, th I feel like it's missing something. <gasps> Like more Halloween. -y. Yeah. Put some, let's put some, eye some eyeballs in there. Oh, wait, the eyeball's crooked. It's there it is. There, you go. there we go. Right. Lazy eye. Oops. Don't be rolling, the, don't be rolling your eyes and things. <laughs> Pulling my eyes at you. Oh, now that looks good. Tears de los muertos. Put yeah. the eyes in there, okay. Why I gotta get the blue one? I wanted the purple one. I mean, I wanted the blue one. Here, switch. Yeah. Okay. Why well, I got the purple one? I can't smell it. I don't want to take these off. Oh, 
All right, cheers. Salud. No, I want a straw. Oh, wait, me too. afraid of mixing different types of liquors and champagne, but you can do it if you just do it. Oh. <clears throat> I feel like tequila hit me better when I have a bucket. You know yeah, it's like you drink it like a man. Yeah, yeah. I feel real man. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to that man. I'm <laughs> sorry to that man. Which one you like better? This one or first drink? I like this one better. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I like that first one better. You do? Yeah, because it was sweet, but it was spicy. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like most spicy margaritas and spicy drinks that I have are straight spicy. Mm -hmm. Too much. Too overpowering. But that one, it was spicy and sweet. Like, I actually taste the sweetness, and I've never tasted a sweet, spicy margarita before. I like this one because the the combination of the Saint Germain and the tequila, the, the bubbles, it's kind of like really balanced in different areas, you know. So that's why I like this one. Ah, Have to be orange. Most pumpkins are orange. I won. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do the eyeballs. I'm gonna give him some triangle eyeballs. what I got going on over here. Yours kind of pee-eyed looking, you know what I'm saying? He's like, like if you were at the club and it, and it was dark, you might think you're cute. You might cute. be scared. You might, be, you scared. might be cute until they turn the lights on. Okay, cool. So now we season the pumpkin. Pepper. Peppers, whatever. Pumpkin pepper. Peter Popper had a pop of pumpkin pepper. Let me do it. A pot of pumpkin a pepper, Peter Pot. That's written all over the peppers. I just spit on mine. Lord have mercy. <laughs>
Or stuffed pumpkin bell peppers. Okay, whatever. Grab a pepper and stuff it. How about that? That's mine. Here, here's your regular pepper. Mine's a regular one. Mm -hmm. well, I'll get this. My mustache is in my mouth. Good. Ready? Okay. All right. Some rice in there. Rice first? Okay. Some rice in there. Uh huh. That's a lot of rice now. All right, here. Then. I'll put some beans in there. Wait, what's your? Is that the name of the game? What is it? The spots on the dark. Mice. You know that? No, you know that like the whole point? It's like the corn with the with the mayo and the the seasoning and the, the cheese. You know that just means corn? No, my yeast is corn. And then cheese. Queso? Mm -hmm. Hey, queso. Queso blanco. Fresca. This ain't fresca cheese. <laughs> Whatever. I was just saying white cheese. Alright. Damn. Look at how. Mine is the best. Do you see that? Do you see what I did? Now to assemble the taco monster, you're going to need a slice of cheese, you are going to need shredded lettuce as well as Roma tomatoes and olives. So what you're going to do, you're going to put the shredded lettuce on each side of the openings of the taco shell. In the middle, add your taco meat. Next take your slice of cheese that you cut into teeth, you're just going to cut little triangles, cut the cheese in half, cut little triangles, that's going to go on top of the meat. You'll add the Roma tomato, which you're gonna slice in half. And then on top of that, you're gonna add two olives for eyes and then the top part of the shell. And once you got it all assembled, you have a taco monster. So your taco monster should look something like... Yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente.